So let's talk about the album, because yeah. that's, mm. that's been the first sort of big project that we've kind of have done. And everything that we've learned before and everything we did before led us to that starting block, I think, of, OK, we now understand a little bit more about what we're doing. Uh, and we understand a bit more about what we want the to... The core of what we wanted was how can we make an album that it, we can make in a way we enjoy, to a standard we set, in a way we want to do. And that was at the... And the, with material the, that we connected with, not material that somebody else connected with that was telling us we should do this, we should sing this, we should record this, you should write this. Yeah. It, it was an album out of what, what, what came out of here. What do you mm. want to write? What do I want to sing? What do we feel? Yeah. And the album is very much that, really. And it's quite scary. I mean, when we were saying to some labels right at the very beginning of the mm -hmm. process, um, yeah, we want to make a huge album yeah. <laughs> with all of these, with huge orchestra, huge this, huge that, and we want to do it with a completely original music and a completely original approach. It's not really convincing because at the outset because there's a, there's a lot of risk when it's original no one's got you know when you're not doing m many songs that people have heard about because they're original yeah. it's not like someone's going to pick up a CD and turn to the back and go oh I know this I know this I know this I'm going to buy it because I know these they're going to turn to the back of the album and think I never heard of it never heard of it never heard of it never heard of it because <laughs> it's yeah. never been done before so it's we saw that as opportunity we yeah. saw that as exciting when when people are saying when, when uh, we're not signing a lot of artists in this field anymore, we're not making these types of albums anymore, it's very... We just saw it as a challenge. It we just saw, well, there's less competition. Yeah. <laughs> where, the, where, where they saw probably uh, maybe a, a problem, mm -hmm. we saw, a, you know, an opportunity. And so we made the album mm -hmm. quite a few times because we kept learning more and more updating, things. Updating, bringing different team members in. But the, the basics of how, how we, went to, we went about it was we went down the investment route, which is, which is a, a, a tough, a, a tricky route. Um, finding people who will put their money, believing in the journey that you're in, it is not a, an easy In an industry street. that is extremely... Volatile. Yes. Uh, and it's very easy to get it very wrong. Yes. And it's very it's very hard to get it right. And we kept learning very quick lessons right from the very beginning of, well, we're not going to go with a label route. We're not going to go with any other option on the table because we felt it would compromise the music or what we wanted to achieve yeah. or what we wanted to record. So we thought, well, um, we'll just roll up our sleeves. And, and like you said, we'll, we'll just make our own company. If we can't find a company that wants to make these decisions for the furtherment of we'll art, make, then we'll, we'll make our own. Exactly, desert. we'll make our own company, which we did. And we're fortunate that along the, along the way, we found like-minded investors, people that actually bought into the vision we were selling, the, how we wanted to do things. And that's, it, it took um, a t some time, but it was worthwhile to find people that that actually were on your side of the fence, completely understand it. And they trusted us to, to make the right decisions. And actually, they trusted us to just go with our gut instinct, which yeah. was a liberating experience. Um, I mean, I think you definitely found that was the well, case. Well, I, th I think we went from starting, for anyone thinking about doing this type of process, anyone mm -hmm. thinking about, I'm going to make my company, I'm going to find angel investment, or I'm going to do crowdfunding, or I'm going to do anything like that, raising your own money that way. M my my advice after the first couple of years of, of, of actually sitting in those sorts of meetings and asking those mm. sorts of questions for people to invest money um, is I started out by saying, it's amazing, it's fantastic, it's brilliant, it's this, it's that. And I ended up uh, sort of, as I went along, saying, it is dangerous. It is highly, mm. <laughs> the risk is huge. And if you don't have the money, it, it to, if you can't afford to lose the money, then do not invest it. And I almost went to the other end. I'm not saying don't go into your meetings if you're out there and saying, it's horrible, please do not invest in this, yeah. thinking, well, it, they'll get the opposite reaction. But I, I, all the best intentions in the world can't guarantee success. Um, but we, we refocused our, our efforts yeah. into looking at mitigating our risk, to looking at yeah. 
what do we do if this was to happen and it be a negative thing? And there's some really great um, tax incentives tax incentives that the government offers yeah. that we took advantage of that really sort of had an answer to those questions. So you've covered the, the personal element where they, you know, they, they, they bind to you as people, as musicians and vision, but at the same time they cover the business element, which is a <clears throat> it's, it's very important part of the, of the process. <clears throat> it's imperative. I mean, everyone needs to make money in the world. I mean, everyone, you, you know, and music's no different. You need to put food on the table. You need to sort of pay your bills. And that is a really difficult question for a lot of musicians. It was a difficult, difficult question for us, mm. saying, how do you go from, you know, feeling that you're good enough for to be successful and being successful to the point where you're earning money? How do you go between those two yeah. places? And there is this huge trough of time where you're investing, which we're putting money in and in and in and in. There mm. has to be, well, when, when, when do you start to get money out of what mm -hmm. you're doing? And it's taken years to cross that, to sort of yeah. connect those two dots. And I think, you know, that there are great stories when, you know, people have overnight successes, but a lot of the overnight successes that are, are years in the making. I take years yeah. to, you know, and um, there's there's a huge amount of time and effort that goes into breaking something through. And there's a lot of artists out there in every genre and the internet is so massive and there's so many, you know, devices now to mm put your music out there and it's even you know more difficult because you know music is readily available and you can get it at a much cheaper price yeah. but the costs of music haven't really the cost of music is still quite especially for this type of you know an orchestra hiring an orchestra is hiring an orchestra yeah. um, whereas the the return on on that is being greatly reduced um, so we're getting very technical yeah and we, we were saying we we're going to talk as brothers, which we kind well, of are, but... Another point about the journey was that we decided very early on that if we wanted to try and be the best, we needed, we needed the best around us to, again, to raise our game, to learn from. Uh, and that's why you said, I, I want Humberto Gatica. So just set out on that journey, I want to try and get him.